Hi guys and girls, I know I said today we'll be making the reload system, but we're actually going to be adding the particle effects for shooting. I just have to make some more animations for reloading, so why not do this one instead of, you know, waiting another whole day. I'm trying to do my best and keep the videos coming. Of course, first we'll be creating the particle systems. We'll create three, one for pistol, one for, A for AR and one for shotgun. They can all be used on all different weapons, but I just wanted to add some variety. First, I'll right click into my hierarchy, go effects, and then particle system. I'm going to name this one muzzle flash pistol. If you go into your scene view and press F, it will focus on the particle system. It's currently a, a bit too big, but we'll fix that. First, of course, since this is a low poly project, I'm going to change, I'm going to go down to renderer and I'm going to change the material on the renderer from particle unlit to either default line, sprite online or sprite uh, default. I'll go with sprite unlit default. And now we've got a more low poly look. And up at the top, I'm going to, I'm going to go to start size. Uh, and I'm gonna go to this little arrow and I'm gonna change to random between two constants I'll change it to 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 And now they're much smaller and you can see they're random Next I'll go to shape and I'll change the angle to about 3.5 and the radius to the lowest possible so 0 I'm going to go to emission and change the rate over time to zero and I'm going to add one burst of 50 particles. And now you can click this restart button to see how it looks. Again up at the top I'll set the, the duration to 0 0.1 and I'll turn off looping which means it plays only once. Again you can use this restart button to see how it looks. Then I'll change the lifetime. So start lifetime, as well go to the arrow, random between two constants, and I'll set it to 0 0.2 and 0 0.35, so they last shorter. Also I want to change the start speed right here, also random between two constants, between 1.5 and 2.5. So some of them will move slower and some of them a bit faster. I'll also change the start rotation here to random between two cost constants, minus 360 and 360. And now they have a random rotation. I also want to go up to the transform right here and change the rotation to 0 on the X, minus 90 on the Y, and 90 on the Z. Now if you play, you can see it's more of a barrel uh, direction. Then I'll go to the gravity modifier and set it to 0 0.3 or sorry, minus 0 0.3. And now you can see they slightly go up, kind of like smoke. Also, I want to change the stop action down here to destroy. So now, whenever the particle system ends, the game object will destroy. That will help us whenever we start instantiating it, instantiating it, blah, 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 instantiating it, instantiating it, so we don't have a million objects in our scene. Also, I want to check size over lifetime which will uh, make them smaller in the beginning and larger at the end, as you can see. You can also change the curve by clicking it and then dragging this window up. Currently, it goes from 0 to 1. Just select this prefab down here. And I also want color over lifetime as well. You can click the color and then add new nodes in the middle. Just click above the bar and set the location to 50 on both of them. The upper one is alpha, the lower one is color. I'll go to the first one up top and change the alpha to zero. To the last one, I will also change the alpha to zero. And then uh, middle one will stay, oh, sorry, middle one will stay at 255. And I'll set like a dark gray for all the colors. They don't have to be the same, but I'll try and go with similar colors. Close that, and now if you play, you can see it kind of looks like scope, uh, smoke, and it fades in and out. Okay, then I'll go to my prefabs. I'll create a new folder for particles. I'll drag this new muzzle flash pistol in there, and let's create the second one. I'll just delete this one from the scene, drag this prefab in, right-click, prefab, unpack, and now it's not going to 
be connected to this prefab because we're creating a different one. So muzzle flash AR or assault rifle. For this one, I'll go down to emission and I'll change the burst count to one. So we just want one particle going out. I'll change the lifetime to 0.15 to 0.2. So last a bit uh, less. I'll change the start speed to zero. So you can just go back to this arrow, click constant and change to zero. And now it's just one particle in the middle. I'll also change the gravity to zero and I'll go down to color over lifetime and I'll set it to white here in the middle and actually on all of them. Also, I'll uncheck size over lifetime. We don't need that. And now we have this kind of particle effect that looks like a flash. I'll save this one, delete it from the scene, drag in the pistol one, so the first one we created, right, right click, a prefab unpack, and let's create the shotgun one. I'll change the speed here to 2 to 2.5. I'll change the size to 0 0.5, or sorry, 0 0.05 and 0 0.075. I'll uncheck color of a lifetime and up here I'll go to start color and change random between two constants and the first one is going to be a orangey reddish color and the second one is going to be more of a yellow orangey color. Now if you play you'll see how they have a random colors and I'll remove gravity. Also I'll go down to shape and I'll increase the angle so it kind of spreads a bit more, it looks more like a shotgun and then I'll save it after renaming it to muzzle flash shotgun. Okay, drag it down to make a prefab and delete it. Before we continue, select all of your newly created particles and set the position to zero, zero, zero. And now they will won't have any kind of offset except on the rotation, which is good. First off, we have to know which weapon uses which particles. So I'll go down to my scriptable objects and I'll open the weapon scriptable object script. And right below prefab, I'll create a public game object particle system. Or sorry, I'll call it muzzle flash particles. Okay, and now we can reference that inside of our scriptable objects. So for the AK on my scriptable object, I will set the AR particle system, so muzzle slash AR. For the knife, I won't set any, we'll be fixing this later. M24 will be using the shotgun muzzle flash. M1911 will use the pistol. And Remington 87, A70 will be using the shotgun as well. Okay, now we need a point from which our particles are gonna come from. So I'm gonna go to my weapon prefabs, not weapon pickups, but weapons. Double click to open. Uh, I will go ahead and create a empty object. So right click on the parent and right click empty game object and I'll call this either barrel or barrel end, something like that. And then I'll move it into proper position, just using these arrows. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be around this point like that, that's good. And I'll make sure I move it to the top here. So you'll see this line, just move it to the top. So it's the first one below the parent. So just name it barrel, move it to the top and place it where you want it. Quite simple. Once you have them all, you can exit from the prefab editor now I'll open my equipment manager. This is where we're storing our currently equipped weapons. So I was thinking it would be a good idea to store our muzzle here as well. So I'll create a public and this will not be a game object. This will be a transform because we're only going to instantiate onto it. And I'm going to name it current weapon a barrel. And I'll set it equal to null. And I'll just make sure I move it below our current weapon object makes more sense. Once we have that, you can go to your animation event manager and here where we instantiate weapon, we're also going to set our current barrel object. So right below it, 
inside of instantiate weapon i'm going to say manager dot current weapon barrel is equal to and then i'll say current uh, or sorry manager dot current weapon object dot get child or sorry transform dot get child child zero because we placed it at the top and that's it now whenever we equip a weapon we'll get the correct barrel prefab and in our weapon shooting script we can finally instantiate it so in our raycast shoot i'll just go ahead below our if physics uh, check i'm gonna say instantiate and the particle system i want to instantiate is equal to current weapon dot particle or muzzle flash particles and i want to instantiate them on the manager dot current weapon barrel that's it and now it should instantiate them whenever we uh, shoot let's try it with our pistol first if i shoot you can see it's actually rotated wrong that's my bad so on all, all my particles i'll just go ahead to the rotation and i'll set it equal to zero on the x 90 on the y and minus 90 on the z now it should be fine you can see that that works let's see some other ones i'll go ahead with the ak these are a bit slow but you can play around with the values the shotgun also a bit slow so you should probably increase the speed or decrease the duration so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for joining hopefully you learned something new and i'll see you next time okay now bye bye